Ladies and gentlemen, Simon Gotch, who is now not part of WWE, he has apparently resigned from WWE. He's been released. And before he was released, there are rumors that he had something very, very weird that he did uh, backstage in catering. WWE rumors, Simon Gotch caused a scene at catering before being released. He was... He was pretty much pissed at something, and the former VOD villain had one more de uh, debacle that it perhaps led to his release. Um, you know, we know Simon Gotch. Now he's gone, pretty much. The backstory here was that they were the VOD villain, Simon Gotch, and Aiden English. And, you know, they were a tag team on NXT and also debuted on the main roster. Um, uh, on SmackDown Live, they were not being used at all properly. Not at all. The first, the first match they had, their debut was probably... a all right, and then after that, nobody gave a shit. And now Simon Gotch left, and I can only assume, like many other wrestlers, he just wasn't being booked right. And he, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't regarded as a main talent on the roster, so they just kicked him out, or he just left, and they, they were like, yeah. So according to Wrestling Observer newsletter, Simon Gotch caused a scene before the SmackDown Live episode, uh, after WrestleMania 33 and catering shortly being uh, before being released in, uh, by WWE. By the WWE. So he got released because of shit he did in catering backstage to other superstars, probably. So on April the 5th, Simon Gotch was released from WWE upon mutual agreement. Simon Gotch was rumored to have been disliked backstage. The first instance showing this was when he got into a fight with Sin Cara in catering. Before the 2016 WWE draft, he got uh, into an altercation with Sin Cara who threw a soda can on his face. Uh, this resulted in a visible black eye for Gotch. The fight was said to be completely one-sided, favoring Sin Cara. Uh, former WWE superstar Ryback openly stated that he did not like Simon Gotch and was happy to hear th about the fact that Sin Cara got into a fight with Simon Gotch. Dave Metzler of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter had also stated that Simon Gotch was not very well liked backstage. Simon Gotch had an interview with the former WWE creative writer Vince Russo in the interview, however, Simon Gotch said nothing negative about WWE and came across very level-headed throughout. Wait a minute, he had, a, he had an interview with frickin' Vince Russo? Gotta be, I gotta watch that then, what the frig? Vince Russo. The guy's always onto something, man. After Simon Gotch's release, his former vaudevillain uh, partner, vaudevillain's partner, uh, Aiden English is rumored to be getting a mid-card push until a singing gimmick under a singing gimmick, which he previously had in NXT. Oh boy, I want to see how that works out. Singing for a guy, you know, a gimmick for a guy, uh, I've never seen that really work out, really. Um, I can I can see right now this guy being jobbed out to guys like Jinder Mahal. Holy shit. Well, Simon Gotch does not have a reputation of being very liked at all. It is possible that this incident could have been his final straw that Simon Gotch was being released from his contract. Um, what? Uh, oh yeah, he. I forgot to read this actually. So the reason, okay, the main reason why he got fired last week. So according to the Wrestling Observer newsletter, Simon Gotch tipped over his own chair and was furious after he fell down. The fall itself was reportedly bad enough for him to cause a scene apparently. So that's what happens when you uh, are in the WWE and you are somebody like him. Bad behavior is not tolerated well in the WWE amongst performers, especially from those in the lower card. Seriously, man, what 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 what's up with this equality shit? I mean, you got JBL who doesn't shut his mouth, and you got people who are on the lower card that aren't being respected as well. Everybody deserves same the same respect. I don't give a shit if you're if you're freaking Brock Lesnar. Okay, I'm not gonna go up to Lesnar and be like respect me, right? But people should just be respecting each other well. After reading this. It just seems like, you know, people who are getting fired or being released, they're not being released on their own terms because they're young, upcoming talents who aren't being displayed right on WWE television, so they leave. They just leave. And nobody gives a shit. Right? You got to open your eyes and see that this is talent that you haven't had before. You could use them. Right? But I guess people don't like some people. JBL. Right? This is not a video regarded about him, but I had to say it. And they just don't, they don't want them there. Simon Gotch is already taking independent bookings. So he will try to make his name on the indie scene circuit 
right, while his former tag team partner Aiden English may be set up for a mid-card push on SmackDown Live. To be honest, why don't you both just leave? Go somewhere else. Go somewhere else where you are respected and treated like at least, if if not gold, at least start out with bronze and then be treated like silver and then be treated like gold and then be treated like, you know, whatever higher is higher than gold. Copper? Listen, man, I don't fucking know what I'm saying at times, but, you know, while we personally cannot comment on Simon Gotch's attitude because we have no first-hand experience, it seems like the former NXT champion, tag team champion, by the way, was not very well liked backstage, right? And so, you know, if he did not gel with the other superstars and faculty backstage, it is perhaps best that he left the WWE and, you know, so that he can gain more experience and come back with a different approach and perhaps a different character altogether, maybe, you know. Um, now, I have to wonder, uh, was one of these guys JBL? Will we see freaking Simon Gotch come out and say JBL was, uh, you know, pissing off at me or whatever? Probably not, because these guys are bred and born from NXT. So, you know, JBL has issues with anybody who's not from WWE. <coughs> Mauro Ronaldo. Come on, JBL. What the fuck's wrong with you? Uh, whatever, guys. Sorry about uh, the JBL rants. Just can't get over the fact that we lost a great announcer in Mauro Ronaldo. Okay, this is not a work. Okay, this is not being booked by somebody backstage to tell you or to believe, make you believe that, oh, uh, JBL is all heel right now and Mauro Ronaldo left because he wanted to. No, no, no. We're seeing Mauro Ronaldo laugh at crap on Twitter that people post about JBL. JBL being knocked out by, um, uh, at the, what was it, the Brawl for All. Yeah, the Brawl for All. Um, and Mauro Ronaldo fully said that he loved, he loved seeing it back then, and it's even more great to see it now. You know, he's laughing his shit off whenever somebody tweets something about JBL getting his ass kicked or something. You know there's heat between them, man. You know there's heat. So, again, you know, um, Mauro Ronaldo leaving because of bullying incidents, of his bullying incident. Simon Gotch leaving because nobody freaking likes him. People that genuinely just hate other people. I don't know, man. Maybe, I don't know if they, uh, they obviously don't hate... Uh, the person as a character, but they hate the person as his personality, and that's just a that's sad, bro. Seriously, um, these these guys could go good as a tag team, but I guess they're just freaking assholes backstage that don't like people and uh, wish they were just gone. And they signed them for contracts so they could use them incorrectly for their own purposes. So you know, to get uh you know buried by Roman Reigns is just one option, right? One of many. Or probably just one of few because the uh, every other option is probably have to do with Roman Reigns. Sorry, guys. I went off on a, something, but whatever. Uh, you will see a lot of these types of videos uh, coming up very, very soon. Me going off on a lot of things. Your guys, you guys can't even fucking speak today. You guys are in for a freaking treat this weekend. I cannot tell you how many fucking videos I'm going to be uploading every single freaking day. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, bro. I'm going to have a pack loaded up for you guys. Stay tuned for more freaking videos on this shitting channel. Do not leave this channel. Stay on it all freaking weekend because you're going to get news, rumors, reports, and controversy for wrestling and entertainment. Stay tuned, guys. Next video is up in just a few. Peace out.